I've been making some pretty significant changes to my bag lately, especially since my in the bag. I've been changing a bunch of stuff for various reasons, which I'll talk about in a later video, probably next week. But right now, I want to talk about one specific disc slot that I haven't been able to fill. So quick background, I have a bunch of putters in my hand right now. These are all kind of like overstable approach putters. I throw them mostly forehand, sometimes like backhand flex shots. I have a zone, two Toros, that's all I need. Nothing wrong with that. I have an understable, like pretty flippy putter. It's an Electron Firm Envy, beat it up, perfect for that slot. And then I have my OptoX Pure, which I made a whole video about, which you can check out. And I love this thing. It's kind of turning into more of a hyzer flip disc than like a straight disc and I can kind of put it on Anheuser. I can even put it on Heiser and get it to hold. It's really, really good for a lot of things. So that's also great. In my bag at the time was a Color Glow C-Line P2, which I liked. And I actually ended up picking up a Sky God 4 so I could have that like really nice new C-Line P2 feel. However, my issue with the P2 is it was just way too deep for my hands. I have small hands and when I was doing a power grip, I don't really like to fan grip, so when I was power gripping it, it just didn't feel good. I wasn't getting a good release. Every time I took it out of my bag, I just didn't feel super comfortable throwing it. So I went online and tried to find premium plastic putters that are slightly overstable, more overstable than my Pure that I could throw that kind of fit the slot between like a zone and a Pure that I can throw on backhands. I picked up five different putters and let me get them. In this box, I have five putters that I picked up that all kind of fit that mold. They are slightly overstable, varying degrees of stability. We're gonna kind of figure out what feels best for that. Um, I tried to go beadless, but it turns out most of these kind of putters have beads. They're all kind of like an 01 or an 02, either two or three speed, and then varying degrees of glide. Full disclosure, I have thrown, this is the Eagle Man Evie. I put this in my bag last week to have for a tournament. So I have thrown this a little bit. The rest of them, I haven't really thrown at all. So starting from the top, we have the Eagle McMahon Envy, which from what I've thrown, it's actually a little bit less stable than the Cosmic Neutron Envy I've had. Then we have a Active Premium Sensei. So this should be kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen someone throw these before. We have a K1 Rico. I'm gonna call it Rico, but that's probably not being pronounced correctly. Uh, again, a beaded putter, but the bead honestly feels kind of nice. And this putter already feels so good in my hand. We have a P Model S. Uh, I have no idea what plastic this is. It says Ace Line and Pro Flex. I, this is literally the only Prodigy disc I own, so I have no idea, but it's some premium plastic. And then we have a Cosmic Neutron Pilot. So we kind of have these two, the P Model S and the Pilot as like the more glidey, but still kind of overstable ones. Uh, they're both a five glide. The P Model S is a three speed. The Pilot is a two speed and the Pilot's a little bit less stable with an 01 and then the P Model S is an 02. So it should be interesting. The Rico and the Sensei have the exact same flight numbers. Uh, they're just kind of like different types of plastic. The Rico's really flat. The Sensei's domey and this has a bead and this doesn't. And as I'm sure most of you know, the Envy is a 3302. I'd say those flight numbers are fairly accurate. Maybe like a 330, 1.5, I don't know. Anyway, I know I typically do this stuff on the course, but I have five discs here and I really just wanna like really see how they fly on a bunch of different angles. Maybe if I'm a little unsure about it, I'll take them to like a hole and try them. There's a, there's a little putter course over there I can try. But really, I just wanna throw them out in this field in a ton of angles, kind of give you an insight on how I'm gonna go about figuring out what discs I wanna have in my bag. And really what I want is something that's just a bit more stable than my Pure. It's not gonna, flip up and turn on me very much. Like if I threw it flat really hard, it'll turn over and I could throw it on turnover lines, but I just really want something that's gonna finish out a little bit more left. So let's just throw, let's throw some hyzers. Let's see how it looks on a hyzer. We'll see how many of these flip up, how many of them just kind of finish left. Maybe if any of them turn over, I'll try to throw it around between 250, 300. I'm not gonna throw it like super hard. Yeah, that's really nice. That just kind of mellowed out there, super easy, came back. Pretty much exactly what I want. Sensei, I have very, 
very little expectations for this disc. I have no, and, and, and for the beadless kind of three speed putter, having a dome on it seems bizarre to me. I feel like I expect this to be flat, so it should be interesting. I don't think I threw it out to the right as much as the Envy, but it seemed like it wanted to stay straight more. Like it didn't want to go right to left. It kind of just wanted to push on that hyzer. All right, Rico, Rico, Rico. Rico. Gonna try and throw as similar of a shot as I can. Very similar to the Sensei, maybe a little bit less glide. Kind of just pushed. It didn't really fight back super hard, but it was, it does have the stability. These are the two I'm very interested in because I've never thrown a disc with flight numbers, anything like this, 2501, pilot. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's actually surprisingly stable. Okay, I don't know if the glide really has much of a, like I don't know if you could tell much out of the glide throwing on a hyzer like that but it kind of it didn't really like have as much glide as i expected and it did have a little bit more bite than i expected last up p model s this is very similar profile uh, to the pilot i would say maybe a slightly deeper rim and a little bit more dome oh yeah that's that's really overstable that's like that felt like a brick like I, I wanted it to push and it just went, like it felt like I was throwing a bird or something. All right, I'm gonna go pick those up. I'm gonna try and note how far they went and then we can throw some flat lines and then some Anheusers and see how that goes. So we had an interesting grouping there, not quite what I expected, I guess. The P Model S went the shortest, kind of dropped out of the sky. It was a bit over to the right. I would say somewhere between 20 to 40 feet shorter than any other disc. The rest of them went about the same distance. The Pilot and the Rico went about the same distance, just off to the right. So it seemed like these two had a similar amount of stability. And then the Sensei and the Envy went about the same distance as those two, but just a little bit more left, so maybe a bit more stability. I will say the Sensei I did throw with a bit of height, so that might have contributed to a bit more of a left finish. Um, I would say probably the Envy was a little bit more stable than the Sensei, just from my observation. All right, let's try throwing some flat lines. I'll try and throw them a little bit harder, kind of like a standard putter shot where I'm just trying to hit a gap. Um, I'm gonna try and go in the same order. So let's start up with the Envy. Kind of just moved up there and finished left. Let's go Sensei. Oh, wow. Whoa. That pretty much just pushed dead straight with a little bit of finish at the end. Kind of like that. Rico. That was pretty much the exact same thing. I'll just say it seemed like it was, it was straighter. Like the Sensei wanted to move a little bit. That's probably the dome. The Rico is flat, so it just went on a straight line the whole way. It didn't turn over. It stayed on like a little bit of hyzer the whole way, and it just went dead straight. Okay. I'm really, I'm really curious to see how these go. Pilot. This thing, if I throw it hard flat, it should go really far based on the flight numbers, so we'll see. It's like, it's so much more overstable than I expect when I throw it. Like, I'm, I'm throwing it on a little bit of hyzer, flat, like I'm hitting a gap, and like the, the Sensei and the Rico like flips up a little bit, holds the hyzer the whole way and just pushes straight. And the pilot just, it wants to just fall out of the sky and push left. Um, I'm gonna guess P Model S is gonna do a similar thing. Oh, it's just, it's so overstable. It's like, it doesn't do at all what I want. It's like I'm throwing a, like a zone or a Toro or something. Like it's just not at all doing what I expect. All right, I'm gonna go pick those up again, figure out kind of the groupings, and then we'll throw some Anheusers. Grouping is starting to get a little bit more of a picture. I'm kind of starting to expect certain things a little more. First of all, 
P Model S, as we expect, is very overstable, it seems. It was way short left. Uh, didn't really glide very far, despite the five glide. That's advertised in the three speed. It didn't seem to get much out of me throwing it harder. So it, it seems like the advertised flight numbers are totally arbitrary. Next up in distance was the Pilot. This was still pretty short, a little bit less left. So it, similar to the P Model S in that it just kind of didn't go that far. Kind of off to the left, but not quite as stable as the P Model S. Again, the flight numbers tell me there's a two speed and a five glide. So I should be able to throw this pretty soft and it should glide really easy. And I've thrown it soft, I've thrown it a little bit harder. It doesn't seem like it wants to glide. That one fade, it doesn't seem accurate to me. It might be a plastic thing, but to me, you could probably switch the flight numbers between this and the Envy and it would probably make more sense. Although again, it, it doesn't seem to describe it very well. The Envy went the furthest of the more overstable ones. It was about as far left as the P Model S, but probably 40 feet further. Um, so just way, way different. And the furthest two are the Sensei and the Rico. They both went about the same, pretty much right next to each other, just dead straight, which uh, these are starting to look like two of my favorites based on that, because this is kind of what I want, is I want to hit it on a little bit of hyzer, get it to push straight the whole way, and then have that left finish where my pure is going to kind of pick up and get a little bit of turn and then come back. I'll do two more tests. We're going to do some Anheusers and we're going to do some like full power, see how far I can throw each disc. So I'll try to keep the same order. Sorry if I like mess up the order, but I think I'm starting with the Envy. Yeah, it held the Anheuser pretty well, started to fight out, but pretty much just got to flat by the end of the flight. Let's go Rico. All right, I definitely put that on a little bit less Anheuser than the Envy, but it did hold it the whole way. It didn't fight out. It held Anheuser pretty much the entire way. Sensei, and I'll try and keep it to the same as that, as that Envy release. Yeah, pretty much held the turn the whole way. Kind of tried to fight back a little bit more than the Rico, but not quite as much as the Envy. So it's kind of in the middle. I would say closer to the Rico where it just kind of holds that Anheuser line the whole way. Onto the Pilot. I'm actually curious to see how this one flies. I, I will note that this disc is pretty stiff and it's, a, it's like a lower profile disc for sure. I mean, it definitely flew a little different than the other ones. Like it kind of went on like a flatter, more penetrating line, but it's not really what I want. I want it to pan the whole way. And I'm gonna guess this is gonna flex out like crazy, but we'll give it a try anyways. <laughs> it, it finished left, like way left. Okay, that disc does not, fly how it says it flies. All right, I'll go pick those up and we'll throw some distance lines. So yeah, as expected, P Model S, like you saw, dumped out way left, didn't even turn over. Pretty much every other disc went about the same. I would say most of the distance variation was mostly due to my release angle. I'll say the Rico was kind of the shortest, but I think that's just kind of threw it a little bit low. Um, in this case, the Sensei went the furthest. I think that's kind of just the dominus. I put it on Anheuser it'll kind of fight out. Like it, it just has the shape for it to hold that line really well. The biggest surprise for the Anheusers for me is the Pilot. I was actually able to get it out pretty much to the same spot and same distance as all the other discs. So this might just be a case of putting it on Anheuser, allowed it to be more true to its numbers or get more out of that glide that it has. But again, all these other discs are three glide and this is a five glide. So it should just be kind of hanging out in the air a lot longer and it really isn't. It, it, it kind of pushed flat the whole way. That being said, there is one variable I'm gonna be unable to account for right now. And it's that once these discs speed in, they're gonna fly differently. And maybe some of these will be more true to what they were right now, or they might beat in to be totally different. The pilot might end up beating in to be a lot more true to its flight numbers. Perhaps this is just a disc you kind of have to beat in from how it is originally. I'm sure if anyone's ever thrown like a DX driver, they might start out overstable, but you throw them into a couple trees and it changes entirely. So these putters could be the case too. And I find that putters can beat in pretty quickly. That being said, I'm gonna kind of go off of 
how they are right now. And kind of just from a starting point, the Pilot and the P Model S just aren't really it for me. I kind of expected to like these, but they're kind of way more overstable than I thought. My P Model S flies like my zone, maybe even more overstable. Like 3502 is just not true at all. This thing is ridiculously overstable. Honestly, doesn't feel super great in my hand. It just, it doesn't fly at all how I expect it to. So this disc is done for me. Pilot seems like a cool disc, but just doesn't really quite do what I expected. I thought it would be a nice, super long gliding disc, maybe in a more of a base plastic or a more workable plastic, it would be better. But yeah, just kind of disappointed by this one. It looks really cool. I, if I wanted it to be so cool and it really isn't. Of course, the Envy is a bit more overstable than the other two remaining, but it is really nice. It does hold a lot of lines. I put it on that Anheuser and it was able to hold it. It didn't fight out like the P Model S or like a Zone Wood or a Toro. So you can put on Anheuser lines. It's not gonna get that like straight hyzer the whole way through a gap kind of thing, which is more what I'm looking for for this. I think it has a bit more overlap with my zones. I could see it finding a place in my bag, but I'm kind of now leaning more towards the Sensei and the Rico. I'm gonna try and throw these pretty hard, just these last three, so not the other two. I just wanna see how well they hold torque. Um, I'm not gonna like throw like a distance line, but I am just gonna try to throw them flat and really hard, maybe like a little bit of hyzer. I just wanna see like if I'm putting a lot of power into them, what they're gonna do. So we'll kind of go with the same order we were doing before. Start off with the Envy. I mean, pretty nose up, but it didn't didn't turn over at all. Probably could have put on a bit of Anheuser to give it be more of a distance line, but just kind of held the whole way. Just went straight, finished out left. Pretty good. Let's try the Rico. That is unreal. Wow. I mean, that I really. I was getting worried because I'm starting to like that disc a lot and I was really worried it was just gonna turn over when I ripped on it. It held hyzer the whole way. It went super far. It did exactly what I want. Um, we'll see how the Sensei is, but I think you're starting to sense that I am uh, I'm picking a favorite right now. Oh, I threw that on a lot of hyzer. I mean, I, th I threw it kind of bad, but pretty much same idea. Um, I'm going to throw my pure real quick, just to kind of give a benchmark to show why <laughs> I'm, I'm making this decision to, to pick up a putter like this and put it in my bag. Because if I do throw my pure with a lot of, well, a lot of power like that, it is going to turn over a little bit. It's not going to like hold that hyzer the whole way. So it, it did have a left finish at the end. It's very subtle, but you can see how the Rico went dead straight the whole way. It didn't turn over and start panning right. The Pure finished about 50 feet right of the line I put it on. So that's kind of like, that's why I need this disc in my bag because if I crank on the Pure, there's a chance it's gonna turn over. Where I want something that's gonna hold that integrity the whole way. All right, I'm gonna go pick those up, talk about which one was my favorite. There's a clear winner and uh, we'll also just kind of see how far the furthest one went. So real quick in terms of distance, Envy was the shortest. I'm gonna guess it went around 320. Sensei and Rico probably 340 to 350, and the Pure just pushed out like 10 feet further than either one of these at around probably 360, 365, maybe even 370. I didn't range them. I kind of just ranged the trees back there from where I was throwing and guessed. Maybe, maybe I'm hyping myself up a bit more than I actually threw it, but either way, they're going pretty far. So I think the winner here, it's gotta be the Rico. This is gonna be the first cast to plast disc I will bag. Uh, I will say, Sensei, you know, uh, I think it's a little bit less expensive. Um, the real reasons I didn't wanna go with the Sensei is the Rico just feels a lot better in my hand. Um, it seemed to fly a little bit better on a couple of the lines, just a little bit less movement in the air, and that might have something to do with the dome. Just not really a fan of that dome that it has on it where the Rico is very flat which I really like I like having flat throwing putters but really they can go hand in hand if you have your hands on one as opposed to the other they're very similar uh, so no reason not to try out the Sensei if you if you have one laying around or able to get your hands on one 
Honestly, the Envy is a close second for me. Again, also feels really good. I think it's just a little bit more stable than I want for this slot. Pretty close to my zone. I could see it being really good once it gets beat up. Like I said, I threw it at a tournament, have been throwing it for the past couple of days a little bit, so I am pretty familiar with it. I could see both of these discs kind of cycling in and out of my bag, depending on what I want for a certain day. But for what I'm looking for to kind of have a bit more stable than my Pure to go pretty far and to just kind of hold lines like that where I can crush them on hyzer in the woods and get them to push flat the whole way without turning over, this disc is way, way better than I could have ever expected. I don't have to go and test them out. This is for sure going in my bag. So very highly recommend getting one of these. Also Pilot and P Model S, again, kind of disappointed. That's all. I hope this wasn't too long. Uh, it feels like I've been out here for a while, but this is kind of what I do, trying to figure out discs, throw them out in the field, see how they fly. And uh, yeah, Rico, amazing disc, huge fan. And you'll see my updated bag video. I'm just gonna kind of play on the courts and show you all my new stuff uh, coming up in the future. And this will be one of those discs. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.